I think one of the main, main points of being a, a good pitcher is having a slow heartbeat. It's probably one of the most stressful jobs in baseball. You are the one to throw the ball and make everything happen. It takes a lot of mental toughness when you're out there. You're by yourself and you have to compete against another person at the plate. Being able to kind of slow the game down, calm your heartbeat, and uh, be able to work under pressure is really important. All right, let's see who we got coming in to pitch. I'm Garrett Coe, uh, I'm a senior pitcher. The big show Garrett Coe, I mean, what, what, what can't you say about him? That 6'6 six, six frame with a more over the top arm slot, it's looking like he's throwing from the Eiffel Tower. Like, <laughs> he has the competitor in him of showing that he should be there, that he deserves to be there. And when he gets to that mindset, it, it's game over for the other team. They cannot hit the ball. Hi, I'm Devin Kirby. I am a grad student and I'm a right-handed pitcher. Kirby's one of the best competitors I've ever played with. He's always willing to go out there and do whatever he has to to get you out. He's a guy who can throw a lot of pitches for strikes. His stuff moves crazy. Right now I have a fastball, slider, changeup. I have the occasional knuckleball when it's called upon. He's got the tattoo right here. I mean, he's a, he's, he's a clown. He's a good kid. He goes out there every time and he gets the job done for you, so he's, he's been really good. Zach Fogel coming into pitch, another grad guy. My name is Zachary Fogel. I'm a graduate student here at UConn, and I am a left-handed pitcher. Came from Brown University, Ivy League, smartest kid on our team. He's not the smartest kid on the team. Okay, street smart, he's not very smart, but book smart, smartest kid on our team. Fogel, he's a new guy, Ivy League guy who came in. He's awesome, he's a dog out of the pen. He's leading our team in appearances, and he knows how to get dudes out. He has a slider from an arm slot that is lower of the shoulder. When it comes to an 0-2 count, the hitter is very in trouble, especially if they're lefties. He's been doing very well lately. Our pen's coming together, and it's going to be a very good postseason. Brady Aftum is another great guy who I think can do it all. I like watching him pitch because he looks very smooth when he's pitching. Uh, it looks like he's putting no effort in, but then it's just like a laser beam coming out of his hand. His fastball rides. It looks like it's floating when it's coming at you. He has a really good slider to throw there. It's very effective. Aftum is one of those kids that's always trying to perfect his craft. He'll be in the bullpen watching videos and asking you, like, hey, what'd you see there? What'd you see there? He's also the mean guy on the team. I mean, <laughs> he'll come at you and say, what well, you're doing wrong, and he, he loves it. But it's all jokes. I mean, he's, he's a big jokester, too. I mean, most of the staff is all uh, jokesters, and, and the guys really bounce off well off each other. Willis has been here as long as I have. Uh, he's our all-time saves leader here at UConn. I mean, there's no one who has that kind of edge to them that he does, and I think that's what makes him such a great closer for us. He's just always ready to go out there and kill him. He's great with all of his closes. I don't know if I could pick uh, one specifically, uh, maybe game one at Stanford, or, or the fact that we needed him to close twice in the Maryland Regional, and he just went out there and did it. It was pretty awesome, too. Willis is a great guy on the field and off the field. When he gets on the field, it's like a light switch. He flips it on. When he goes in the game, we know it's going to be closed. We're going to keep the lead, going to win the game. He's very dominant with his slider. It's like they're swinging at a wiffle ball. They just cannot hit it. Sully's a guy who I think could do it all. I would not be surprised if he came out to start, which he has, or he does long relief, or he closes a game out. I mean, his pitch mix is, is great, his velocity's good, he just has it. He's very consistent on his slider and his fastball and locating where it can be, and so he's really good out there as a starter. Yeah! Sully's got the biggest hands on the team. If his hands are probably like double the size of mine if you go like here. You'd think he's quiet at first when you first meet him, but then the more you keep talking to him, you know, he just is a, a huge jokester and he keeps he keeps vibes light on the team for sure. 
Sears is the classic lefty, as, as some baseball people like to say. He's a transfer from a D3, Rhode Island college, but he's starting to adapt to where he is, and it's perfect because we're leading into the home stretch. He is very intimidating on that mound with that big frame. His slider is actually very disgusting with his fastball paired up. One typically looks like it's rising, the other one's just pairing off of a drop, so it makes them look silly while they're trying to hit the ball. Cookie, I don't know if we have a guy who knows how to pitch better than him. He's a great kid, really hard worker. He loves to joke around. He shows the hitter that he's not afraid of them and that that hitter shouldn't be in the box. And he is the one that's dominating the game. He typically has a good riding fastball that cuts and sinks at the same time. There's two Quigleys. There's Steven, who uh, we call Stu. Is there a reason we call him Stu? What up, 4-2? What up, 4-2? Never figured that one out. And then there's uh, Michael, who goes by Big Matt. Ha, huh, the Quigley guys. Uh, those guys are funny. So you have Steven Quigley, another starter, and um, he's uh, establishing himself very well with the inside fastball. Then you have the little brother, Michael Quigley. He has a dominant fastball that is around 95. He's going to be a vital piece coming up in the postseason. I think Thomas Ellison is a phenomenal pitcher for us. He's super athletic, throws hard, good breaking ball. He started games, he's coming in relief. We got four to five really good starters and then the bullpen is, is really, really deep. We have some really good arms and then Justin just holding it off in the back end has, has just been really beneficial for us. Hitting wins you ball games and pitching wins you championships. If you have both of those on, you're going to be a pretty darn good baseball team. I mean, last year we were one game away uh, at the Super Regional against Stanford, ended up losing that, which kind of left a bad taste in your mouth, and, and you just want that, that feeling back. I mean, the end result obviously was farther than, than we've gone, but it's still not something that we're uh, happy with. We'd like to make it to Omaha, we'd like to win it all, and from the first day of practice, that's the goal we set. And the coaching staff has prepared us for it, and I, I think we're all ready to do it.